bravery and forgiving oh. the perpetrator is actually extraordinary. So uh, that's a story you won't want to miss later on. Now, too often we see images of drunk young people and alcohol fueled violence on our streets, but it's not all youth behaving badly out there at night. You can also find sober, friendly people helping to keep the rest safe, like the Yarra Street Pastors, who launched this week in Melbourne. From 10 Saturday night to 4 in the morning on Sunday, volunteers are going to hit the streets to help with a drink, help people get the taxi, even a pair of thongs for girls who can't handle their high heels anymore. And President of the Yarra Street Passes, Reverend Randall Bond, is with us this morning. Good morning, Randall. Good morning. Now, tell us a little bit about this program. Why is there a need for it and how did it begin? Yeah, I mean, uh, when we go out to have a, a good time, uh, most people are out having a good time and most people aren't out on the streets uh, to cause trouble but when you add in uh, alcohol, when you add in drugs, when you add in hormones, uh, when you add in a bunch of other things, differences, uh, issues happen. Like, I mean, people are the victim of trouble, uh, they cause trouble. And when we look at this, it's often after 12. If you're out before 12, you don't see these things. But after 12, uh, a lot of trouble happens and a lot of friends are no longer around for one reason or another. People don't want to call uh, the police, they don't want to call an ambulance, they definitely don't want to call their parents. And, but these are our, our sisters, they're our brothers, uh, they're our daughters, our sons, our colleagues, friends, and we want to be the people that lend a helping hand to them when they need it. So, Randall, you've got a backpack there. Tell us how you help these people on the street at night. Yeah, so, I mean, the idea is not just a bunch of extra people on, on the streets. Uh, we're going to train people, but we're also going to give them things to hand out. I mean, a pair of flip-flops, as, as you talked about, for those uh, that can no longer walk in high heels. Uh, also, a dustpan and shovel just for, for cleaning up the, the glass that might uh, be on the, on the ground. Uh, often, if you consume alcohol really quickly, it can come out uh, really quickly. And you, we all know a taxi... <laughs> Uh, won't actually take you if you do that. So I've got a bunch of baby wipes. They They're work well wipes. on my son, <laughs> and they work really well for drunk people in cleaning them up, enabling them to get home uh, safely. I've also got a first aid kit here. We're going to train people in level two first aid, uh, so they're able to offer a helping hand uh, until someone more professional is able to come in. Uh, we've got water that we're able to hand out to help sober people up. And uh, for those girls that haven't worn enough, we've got uh, space blankets. They're, they're really good uh, on those freezing <laughs> cold Melbourne nights. Uh, and a bit of hand sanitizer always comes in handy. Uh, a torch so we can see what we're doing. And that's about all that's in our backpack. But we realise that we're not everything to everyone and so uh, we'll have a bunch of numbers that we can call people that we can refer uh, others to just so people can get the best help uh, in the situation they need. Randall, it looks fantastic, but do you really make a difference out on the streets? Because there is so much violence out there at the moment. Yeah, I mean, that's a good question. Like, we're, we're not worried about the violence, but as Christians, we, we pray and believe that God changes things uh, as we pray. and. Uh, but we're also training people with professionals to ensure that it's not just a bunch of Christians out on the streets who uh, are praying for changed streets. It's uh, a bunch of people that are trained to actually help people in their time of need. And obviously, we're going to train people uh, to recognise and handle situations so uh, they know when things are escalating and uh, when to step back, uh, when not to get involved and when to call someone and refer on. Randall. So we're building a, a strong relationship with uh, local council, police and other organisations that are already doing really helpful stuff in the area. A noble, it's a, a noble idea and uh, we wish you all the very best of luck, Randall. Good luck. Thank you. Well, coming up this morning on Wake Up, we speak to two extraordinary men, the Good Samaritan who found $16,000 in cash and gave it back and the father who lost his daughter and then forgave the man who killed her. Plus, the star-spangled Hollywood premiere